of our commitment, 2014, from now until Election Day, we will be bringing you live interviews from Bay State candidates seeking to represent you. Our guest today is Steve Kerrigan, the Democratic Lieutenant Governor nominee and Martha Coakley's running mate. A resident of Lancaster, this is Kerrigan's first statewide run, but has worked for decades behind the scenes, most notably for the late Senator Ted Kennedy. Mr. Kerrigan, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. You know, we haven't heard a lot from you since you won the primary, but you were front and center at the State House today with yes. social workers rallying against Republican candidate for Governor Charlie Baker's, basically his his role, protecting children. and Or not protecting children. Well, are you Martha Coakley's new pit bull? <laughs> no, I am her running mate. And uh, last week, Charlie Baker said that he was proud of his record as mm -hmm. uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services. So we took a long, hard look at that record. Uh, and what we found was uh, there was glaring uh, problems with it. You know, he had an opportunity when he became Secretary of HHS. This is under two under different two Republican different administrations. Governor, yeah. administrations yeah. So he was HHS Secretary under uh, Governor Weld, when then DSS, uh, now DCF, uh, when we had historic problems there. Much higher caseloads than we have now, and he had an opportunity uh, with a report that outlined ways to protect children in a stronger way. He had an opportunity to do that. He ignored that report. He took millions of dollars that the legislature gave him to fix the problem. And he gave it back to the legislature in an effort to score cheap political points while kids suffered in Massachusetts. I think that's wrong. So this all stemmed from the Super PAC ad that came out, yeah. a pro, uh, you know, a Baker ad yeah. talking about Coakley's record. So yeah. do you think that, uh, that Baker's response to that ad was not enough? Look, I, I don't. Uh, we called on uh, Charlie, as have Debbie Eapen uh, and uh, the Bish family uh, over this weekend. And, and today, they've called on Charlie and Karen Polito uh, to ask that that ad be pulled down. Mm -hmm. uh, they won't do that, which to me says that they agree with the tone and the tenor of the ad. Now, his response was that he didn't agree with the tone, but felt that it was similar to super PAC ads that are being run against him right now. Sure, except for they're full of lies. This ad is full of lies. And if they want this campaign to be about what governor will be a stronger advocate for children, a stronger advocate for victims and families, and for our commonwealth moving it forward, we encourage that. So bring it on. So does the Coakley campaign have any problem looking into what that super PAC ad brought up about her record as attorney general and the lawsuit that was filed against um, the ch you know, children's services? We heard uh, from an advocate for children today, uh, one of the DCF workers who said, uh, you know, that one size fits all approach that was advocated for and why Martha defended the Commonwealth mm -hmm. as she should as attorney general um, was not the right solution for the children of Massachusetts. That's why she always in her entire career, whether it was assistant DA, district attorney, AG, or as governor, she has always put children and families and victims of crime first to protect those who need a voice. But it doesn't surprise me because Charlie has never seen people like that. He's never heard people like that. So therefore, he's never going to be able to speak for people like that. So as governor, he will fundamentally just have a disconnect with, with folks like that, that Martha and I have worked with our entire careers, and we look forward to serving uh, as governor and lieutenant governor. All right. Let's move on to question two, one of the ballot questions in November, that it would expand the five-cent deposit yeah. to include water bottles, sports drinks, juices. Now, how will you vote on that and why? Uh, I'm going to vote yes on that uh, because I think it encourages uh, more recycling and, and more opportunities to make sure we have a, a greener economy and a greener, a greener commonwealth. I understand both sides of it, um, but I will be personally voting yes on it. Now, what do you say to people who oppose the bill and say this is 32 years old, basically, that this bottle bill was yeah. before we recycled as a nation, before we did it as communities, which, I mean, I think all of us now have that bin outside next to our trash can. Well, it's interesting. We don't at my house. I live in a small rural community in North Worcester County. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't, we, because of uh, under, by the way, the Weld and Salucci administrations, we lost so much in local aid, we had to cut uh, our uh, trash service at our homes. So we don't have that anymore. It's all private collection. So we don't have, if, if you're just a citizen in, in Lancaster, Mass, you don't have that pickup uh, provided by the town. So there is a need for it. I understand their position. Yeah. Um, and I hope that we eventually get to universal collection like that. Uh, but in the absence of that, I'll be voting yes. What about the cost burden to the consumer? Is that a concern on your part? It's all, yes. Anything that puts more of a burden on a consumer um, is a concern of mine. I believe that the pros uh, far outweigh the cons in this. All right. We have about 30 seconds left. So how is the Coakley Kerrigan ticket different from the Baker Polito ticket? Well, we have plans. 
and a vision for how to move Massachusetts forward. You know, we've got a plan uh, to take people from cradle to career with early childhood education that Charlie Baker doesn't believe in. We want to invest in regional economic development. Charlie Baker wants more tax cuts, yet when asked, he says he'll figure out how to pay for them later. We've got a plan that's going to uh, provide earned sick time for workers all across Massachusetts. Charlie does not believe in that. There's a fundamental disconnect between the Baker Polito ticket and the people of Massachusetts. Martha and I have worked for our entire careers. We look forward to representing them in the corner office and fighting for all families in Massachusetts, not just the ones uh, at the very, very top. How much work do you think you have ahead of you to win this? I think everybody. This is going to be a tight race. Uh, this is always going to be a tight race. Mm -hmm. uh, every governor's race in Massachusetts is as it should be. We've got to debate these things. Uh, but I think there's a clear distinction between what Martha Coakley and Steve Kerrigan have to offer and what Charlie Baker and Karen Polito have to offer. Mr. Kerrigan, thanks for coming in. Thank very you very much. much. Thanks for having me. And thanks to Democrat for Lieutenant Governor Steve Kerrigan. Karen Polito, Republican candidate for Lieutenant Governor, will be our guest later this month.